The VacFill 3 is an easy to use coolant removal and refill machine. The machine has the capability of holding two new fluid types and can be used to vacuum down a cooling system on a vehicle and then refill the cooling system with new coolant. The VacFill 3 includes everything needed to vacuum down and refill a vehicle's cooling system. We have a tank for green new fluid, a tank for red new fluid, we have a dial style control panel with a gauge in the center for reading vacuum and pressure. We have the service hose used to pull the vacuum on the vehicle and refill the vehicle's cooling system. We have a suction wand used to remove fluid from the vehicle's overflow container. We have the rubber cone adapter which is used to hook to the vehicle's radiator and pull a vacuum. And we have a small pinch clamp which can be used to pinch off the hose leading from the radiator to the vehicle's overflow container. On the side of the machine we have an overflow bottle that is used in case the used fluid tank overfills, excess fluid will go into the overflow bottle. Over here we have the air fitting where the shop air supply connects to the machine and the quick disconnect where the service hose connects to the machine. The VacFill 3 controls are easy to use and plainly readable on the control panel. On the left side we have the air off position and the air on position. On the right side we have off, we have vacuum or drain the waste tank which is used to pull a vacuum on the vehicle or the position used to drain the waste tank. Then we have fill the red or fill the green which is used to put coolant back into the vehicle after the vacuum has been pulled. We'll begin by connecting the shop air supply to the machine. Next we will carefully remove the vehicle's radiator cap. Be very careful when removing the vehicle's radiator cap, especially when the vehicle is warm, as hot coolant could be expelled from the vehicle and you could be burned. After removing the radiator cap, we'll use the small pinch pliers to pinch the hose that runs from the radiator to the vehicle's overflow tank. After pinching the hose, we'll take the service hose, insert the rubber cone adapter, and open the valve on the hose. At this point, we'll make sure that the right dial is on vacuum, and we'll turn the left dial to air on. The machine is now pulling a vacuum at the cone adapter. We'll use the cone adapter to pull a vacuum on the vehicle by inserting it into the vehicle's radiator neck. The machine then begins removing coolant and pulling a vacuum on the vehicle's cooling system. Once the fluid is no longer moving inside the hose, we will take the right dial and we'll turn it to the coolant that we would like to refill the vehicle with, in this case green. We turn to green and we can turn the air off and we watch as the machine puts new fluid back into the vehicle. During the refill process, just hold the rubber cone adapter in the radiator mouth 
opening to ensure that the vacuum stays in the system. Once the fluid is done and you can see that it's not moving through the hose any longer, the vacuum is equalized and the rubber cone can be removed. Close the valve, remove the rubber cone completely, At this point we can check the level of the radiator to make sure it's at the point where we started and we can replace the vehicle's radiator cap. We can then remove the pinch clamp. We can remove all tools and towels that we have in the engine compartment. and the service is complete.